So Johnny, Henry, congratulations on being announced as co-captains for the upcoming season. You must be uh, both hugely honoured. Yeah, it's a massive honour. Um, as I said, it's, it's a club I love. It's, it's, it's where I'm from and it's, uh, it's really exciting. Um, it's good to be back with everyone in the squad. Um, I think the new guys have settled in really well. And, all the guys there, and yeah, the training has been good. It's been tough, and uh, yeah, I just enjoyed the pre-season and looking forward to get the season started. And Henry, you've captained the side on a number of occasions. You've captained Scotland as well. How different will it be for you to be leading the side on a full-time basis? Yeah, it's exciting, as Johnny said. Obviously, um, I care a lot about the club as well, and I think it's an, it's an exciting thing doing the co-captaincy. Um, it's going to be slightly different to something I've done before, but you know, we get on really well. I think it can definitely be a, an, an added bonus for the team, and, and hopefully, we can help drive standards and things like that, and, and get to where we want to go. Yeah, you say co-captaincy is, is used quite a lot in the southern hemisphere, but not so much in the northern hemisphere. Have you guys spoken about how you're going to captain the side, especially if you're playing together? Obviously, yeah, Southern Hemisphere, McGregor spoke to us a little bit about it, them doing it down there. We haven't really had a lot of uh, conditioning work and stuff like that, so we haven't had a, a chance to probably sit down and, and chat about how it's going to go forward, but um, we will do it over the next couple of days, I presume. And, and yeah, I think it's exciting and hopefully work really well. And do you think it helps having so a captain in the forwards and a, a captain in the backs as well? Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, I think throughout the, uh, throughout, the, throughout the squad, there's lots of leaders there, like uh, Rob Parley, Peter Horn, and... Josh Strauss guys that have captained before, but no, it's, it's great to have Henry there. His experience and his knowledge of the game's is um, unreal, so um, to have him out there on the pitch uh, would be great. And uh, he's, uh, he's good, good also to talk to, a lot of ideas to bounce off. And you say there's there's a lot of different leaders, you've got a leadership group <coughs> as well, so it's important to have a lot of different leaders in the in the squad. Yeah, um, like Henry, as you said, he's captain of Scotland and yeah, he's a great guy to have, a um, great captain, so um, yeah, it's an honour to share alongside him. And Henry, how <laughs> and Henry, how different is it for you when you're when you're captaining a side and when you're when you're not captaining a side? Does it make a big difference? Uh, not not massively. I think um, as as Johnny said, there's a lot of senior guys in the squad, so I think everyone tries to lead by example. And you don't. There's obviously things like you know making decisions about the kick at the post and kick to the corner, things like that change. And, and maybe through the week things are different, but when you get on the pitch, it's you know you've got to play well first and foremost. So obviously, if you're starting, you want to go and put in a good performance so I think that's that's the main thing first and foremost and it's obviously great that you know, I'm doing it with John and, and as he said there's a lot of other senior guys in the squad who will drive standards and, and lead by example as well so I think it's, it's a good place to be. We've got games coming up against Harlequins and uh, Gloucester and um, how much are you looking forward to, to getting the rugby back underway? Yeah exciting obviously that's why that's what we're here for we want to play games and it's great that we're playing you know two, two really strong you know great history of both those sides so um, it'll be a good test for us going into the season that's what you want you want to test yourselves and, and see where you're at so um, hopefully the guys who are selected you know we go and put in good performance and, and build some momentum as, as we lead to uh, Connacht and after that first game away to Connacht we're at home to Leinster on the, the first game of the new artificial pitch uh, is that something you're looking forward to yeah it's exciting I can't wait to like to Scott since obviously um, over the last few years it's become a real real fortress for us you know we pride ourselves on, on winning here and, and doing well in front of our support and it'll be slightly different with the new pitch and stuff but I think it's only a good thing for Glasgow Rugby and um, yeah I know the guys it suits how we want to play and, and uh, I think it'll be a really good thing going forward. So it's finally Johnny you led the side to a fifth consecutive playoff place last season what are your targets for the season ahead? I think every year uh, in the competition you can just see how, how tough and hard it gets um, I think there's only a couple of points between First to sixth, seventh, maybe. So um, no, I think, I think we need to start well, and then um, hopefully, um, yeah, we just take, take each game as it comes. But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, we'll hope for those playoffs, and then hopefully in Europe, um, we've not we've not qualified yet, and uh, so hopefully we can qualify out there. But um, now nah, we, we know how hard it is and the challenge, and it's up to us daily to, to test ourselves to improve because uh, it's not going to be easy.